Ubiquiti has just dropped two new Unify access points. We've got the U7 Pro XG and the U7 Pro XGS. And these aren't just minor refreshes, we're talking about a completely new design. So check this out, the Pro XG and XGS have this new like almost completely flat face design with an all metal back that's designed to dissipate heat more effectively, which means no fans and no noise. Yet it still looks a lot like a traditional Unify access point with its circular design and its glowing LED. Both models have a 10 gigabit RJ45 ethernet port powered up by PoE+. And for anyone wondering, these do come with a brand new form factor mounting plate, but they have the same screw hole pattern. So not a drop in replacement, but at least you don't have to drill new holes in the wall. Performance wise, the Pro XG is two by two multi-user MIMO across all three bands, while the Pro XGS is two by two multi-user MIMO in the 2.4 and six gigahertz band, but four by four multi-user MIMO in the five gigahertz spectrum. The U7 Pro XG can cover about 1500 square feet and supports around 300 client devices, whereas the Pro XGS can cover around 1750 square feet and supports over 500 client devices. Another difference between these two new access points is that the Pro XGS includes a dedicated spectral scanning radio, much like the existing U7 Pro Max access point. What this means is that it's constantly scanning the surrounding environment for interference and it can adjust wireless channels in real time. Now when it comes to cost, that tends to fluctuate a bit before these devices are released, so I'm just gonna pop up some text on the screen here so that I can avoid having to re-record anything, but here you can see the pricing for yourself. Comparing these to Ubiquiti's existing lineup of switches, the Pro XG is basically a U7 Pro with a 10 gig NIC and a new look with the flat face and the metal back. The Pro XGS is like the U7 Pro Max, so same wireless performance, also includes the additional radio for spectrum analysis, but it has a 10 gig NIC and it has this new form factor. It's fanless, which is awesome because that's one less part to fail. And so where do these fit in to the overall Unify lineup? Well, basically they fit in right in between the existing U7 access points and the higher end E7 access points. But honestly, for just a little bit of extra cost, the 10 gig NIC alone makes these ones a smarter buy if you're looking to future-proof your network. But what do you guys think of these new APs? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments.